Hey guys, who's Mario? Back with another video, and in this video today we're going to be doing another installment of my redesign series. Today we're going to be redesigning Goku into a new steampunk outfit as if he was in a steampunk themed series. And actually, when I first created the redesign series, this is one of my initial concepts that I wanted to actually do for this series. I ended up not doing this one early on in the redesign series because I was really worried about how it would come out. So it took me this long just to build up the courage to actually try out the design. <laughs> Thus, this redesign video was born. Nah, actually, there was a little bit more build up to that because I was like, you know what, it does have a lot of potential, and the ones I feel like have a lot of potential, what I do is I do some preliminary sketches beforehand to kind of design some shape design on the character and where I want to put things. So the ones that look a little bit more refined are typically the ones that I did a preliminary sketch and design beforehand. And you know, now that I'm saying it out loud, why didn't I do that with all of the redesigns in the redesign series? <laughs> But yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to be doing that uh, from now on for each redesign in the redesign series. I'm going to be doing like a pre-rough sketch so that way I get a better idea of what I'm going to be drawing in the illustration. Fun fact about the pre-designs that I did, I actually did them on my phone when I was out and about and I wasn't home or anything. I was just out and about and I had some free time and I was like, you know what, I need to at least try to get that basic idea of what I want to do with Goku's design. So I started sketching out on my phone. Uh, just in case you're wondering, I have the Note 8 phone and I purposely got this phone because it had a pen and because of situations like that when I'm out and about and I'm like, you know what, I kind of feel like just uh, doodling right now and I'm going to doodle with intent trying to, you know, design something and think about things. That's one of the whole reasons I got this phone. Having the pre-designs already and set for you makes it easier to kind of just focus on the pose and know where everything kind of goes in that design and then when you actually start overlaying the design onto the pose that you have, um, it's one of those things where you can kind of uh, make alterations to the design, making things bigger, smaller, subtracting things, or adding things a lot easier to make the design even better as you're going with the illustration. So those preliminary designs help a lot, just kind of like the idea of, you know, doing a storyboard, a rough draft of a manga beforehand before going to the final draft. Uh, this is a good practice to do with all the character designs you do. You don't have to do a character design that's in a really cool pose or something uh, for the first concept design of that character. It's good to go with just normal poses and try to get the overall design good, the hair design, the you know personality, just stuff like that. If you go straight into doing an illustration before you actually design the character, a lot of the time it can end up getting muddled, you have a hard time with the position, and the whole point of trying to design the character is trying to make sure you design the character. It's not about the pose when you're just trying to come up with the concept of them, design them, if they frown a lot, you know, the size of their eyebrows, what their eyes actually look like, stuff like that. There's no reason to go straight into an illustration for that per se. Though that's not to say during a moment of inspiration you drawing a cool pose with a brand new character design doesn't end up working. It actually can work a lot of the times. That happens a lot with me. But a good overall structure to go with is to do those preliminary sketches first to get the design down uh, closer to what you want. Because uh, even after if you did do that one with that moment of inspiration and you did them in like a cool pose and you know the new design, you would eventually probably draw them out in a normal pose to kind of flush out the design a little bit more so you know how to draw them in other positions per se. And it's all just the game of character design. <laughs> Like recently there's this new character design I'm working on and uh, I've gone through several different iterations of how I want his hair to look, exactly how I want his eyes to look. I changed his clothes quite a few times, I took some things off, I added some things in, and uh, I eventually came around to something that I'm pretty satisfied with now. I'm pretty happy that I didn't go with the first design that I had in mind because I was originally going to go for that, I was like inking the character design sheet and everything. And um, in the middle of it, I was just like, you know what, you know, I just don't feel like this feels right right now. That's one of the things that my art has kind of been built around, is trying to do things as fast as possible, because that's what the industry is built around. That's one of the reasons why manga can come out, you know, every week for those weekly series, is trying to be fast and efficient. Realizing that everything you do can't be perfect, so you kind of just gotta go with the flow sometimes when it's not the best. 
But in this case, I really had to take a step back because I was just like, you know what, I'm not satisfied with this. And this is a main character to a series that if I actually, you know, don't like this design, that's the design he's going to have, you know, for the remainder of that series. So I had to really take a step back and be like, you know, this is one of those designs you have to take your time on, especially when it's a main character. There have been other times where, you know, a character design came to me like super fast in the first sketch and it turned out exactly how I wanted. I was like, this is perfect. I love this. But that main character is one of those designs that was just like, you know what? <laughs> this is really hard for me. And for some reason, it just didn't come as natural as some other character designs. And I think a big part of it was me just overthinking it a little bit. Yeah, for those of you who might be wondering, I've been developing my own manga. I'm going to be starting it actually pretty soon here excited about it because it's one of my first original works that I've done in a long time that you know I designed the characters wrote the story and all that stuff from the ground up and, uh, to be completely honest I've always had a lot of anxiety when it comes to creating my own series and actually starting my own series it's like it's somewhat of a curse of an artist to always be over judgmental about themselves but yeah like I said I'm pretty excited about it and uh, there's gonna be more about it and I'm probably gonna do a video at some point about it but uh, yeah, I'm going to be posting some like progress stuff on Instagram here soon. But in any case, to get back to the illustration, um, one thing I wanted to talk about is I actually saw someone mention something about a steampunk future trunks, and I was like, ooh. Yeah, if you like that uh, commenter's idea of steampunk future trunks, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Let's me know if you guys are interested in this video as well as that video as most people who would be interested in steampunk goku would be interested in steampunk trunks come on don't lie to me and then there's some guy in the back that's like no steampunk krillin and everyone just looks back at him like what and then other guys all like no steampunk tn and then everyone's just like what <laughs> Yeah, the steampunk trunks one actually sounds really cool, and I've also been thinking about trying to do a redesign of maybe, hmm, hmm, maybe Sora, hmm, maybe Cloud, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of other series that I've been thinking about uh, trying to do redesigns of, you know, uh, that aren't necessarily maybe manga, but something that's also cool too, but I'm, I'm, I'm also gonna keep on doing manga as well, you know, maybe a Luffy one, who knows? Maybe an Avatar Last Airbender one. Wait, what? That's not anime? Who said that? <laughs> no, we're not going to open that can of worms. Honestly, uh, my opinion about it is I don't really have an opinion about it. If I think hard enough about it, I'll probably be able to conjure up some sort of opinion. But uh, in general, I just liked Avatar Last Airbender. I haven't really tried to classify it into anything specifically. But yeah, this is a video about Goku. Let's not, uh, let's not bring that up. <laughs> You know, now that I'm thinking about while recording this, there's a lot of characters that I actually want to redesign. Oh boy, I definitely got some new ones coming up, that's for sure. But uh, if you guys have an idea, definitely shoot them in the comment section below, because like that Future Trunks one, that one sounds pretty cool and pretty promising. So uh, if you guys shoot a really cool one down below, you know, it might show up in a video. But uh, one thing I really want to start remembering to do is, if there is one shot in the comment section below, I want to try to remember to screenshot that comment so I can actually use it in the video. Anyway, I thought it would be kind of fun to mention real quick that uh, I started watching Hunter x Hunter. I know I told everyone I was going to watch Fairy Tale, and then all of a sudden Hunter x Hunter just pops up on Netflix, and I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I heard such good things about it and I started watching it and it's so freaking good guys. I'm actually really mad at the author slash artist for not being able to continue the series although I understand he has some health problems but deep down I'm a little sad alright. I actually haven't watched uh, all the anime yet. I'm almost done with it. I'm really liking it and uh, now I'm starting to be in the boat of those people that are like oh no is it ever actually gonna finish? But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that rant to a video where I'm actually drawing Hunter x Hunter or, you know, Gon or Killua. Yeah, I'll leave that rant for one of those videos. Now back to the steampunk Goku design. Uh, I was actually really worried about how I was going to do this hair. I wasn't sure how I wanted to shade it. Um, I didn't really want to do it all just solid black. And uh, so I went with some kind of like heavy shines on the top as if there's a pretty strong light coming from the top area, um, our top right, his top left, whose hair doesn't typically take that much shine on, but I wanted to do it just for a little bit more character to the illustration. I wanted to do it 
for a little bit of aesthetic, some some funness to the illustration. Doing a redesign or even redrawing someone else's, you know, character doesn't have to be exactly like the other person's style. That's not the point of it. That's the whole point of being able to have your own style. Being able to draw things in the way you want to draw them. Goku's hair on top of that potato face meme. You know what? I still consider him Goku. Yeah, that's right. Potato face Goku is from stuffing his face too much. That's that's how his face got like that. That's what I am convinced of. Goku is actually potato face Goku. What's going on in this video right now? <laughs> Another little update. I got a new sketchbook. Woo! Um, I'm probably going to do maybe a video with the sketchbook or whatnot on this channel at some point, but uh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I kind of regret the sketchbook because it's so freaking small. I don't know how I got that. I ordered it offline and you know, you don't get to see it in person. So when I got it, I was like, this thing's like the size of my pinky. No, it's a little bit bigger than that, but it's definitely smaller than I expected. But in any case, if you guys like this channel and you guys want to help support my arts, as you can check me out on my Patreon, link in the description. And I'd like to take this time to thank my Patreons. Ek Pelage, Where My Crown, Daniel Healer, Noah Henderson, Maracuzio, JT, Slow Days, Alpha Dog Studios, Aaron McQuiston, LaCour, David Curtis, 19 Black Dragon 89, Ryan, Dope Closet, Josh Aguilera, Lance Zoe, Monceau, Malcolm X, This Guy Sewell, Parthana, Thomas, Grim Reefer, Spencer, Blake Belcher, Carlos Loza, Wes Flinch, Grimoff, Alicia Claro, David Jordan, Eden Dobb, Johnny Boy Dross, Alia Williams, I am Dusty, Leo McLintyre. Thank you guys so very much. But in any case, if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And like always guys, I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.